Hello, YouTube. This is Mr. One Kid Icon. Man, I'm in Chicago. I'm, you know, I'm from Chicago, right? And um, they tore up downtown last night. You know, um, I understand that it's uh, the riots. I understand it's they call it it's, it's it's protesting. You know what I'm saying? But we doing all that. We tore up our downtown for what? It's gonna bring a man back. I see the reason why I say I understand because it's like I call it it's like I said in my last video is misplaced anger. But we need to put our anger into something positive because every time we do something, like from they say, Oh yeah, we try to do a peaceful protest and it don't work because when Martin Luther King did it, he stayed at it, you know what I'm saying, till the things got solved. And then the people say, Oh, we should do it Michael Mas the Michael Mess way. So Michael Madison, I say to tear up your own neighborhood, tear up your own neighborhood. Is it the, the most asinine thing? And I know asinine means extremely stupid. I saw on Facebook they said the the tear up your own hood means it's the same thing as like not owning a plantation. And when you tell you own a place and don't burn it up, I said that's the most asinine shit in a fucking world because I don't understand that shit. Beyond, don't tell, don't tell me no stupid ass shit like that because it's it's not saying like you do uh, uh, burn your own plantation. People live here, like that's not saying like, that's used to complain death and slavery. Like that's not the same thing. You live here, you go to these stores, you know what I'm saying. You eat, you survive here, you know what I'm saying. We not in slavery. Uh, that was oh I hated that comment. That comment was so damn dumb. So I'm just saying like, and then we doing all this riot shit, and is that gonna bring? One our black brothers back, our black sisters that killed that, that uh, our our kids back. That, that don't I mean I understand what y'all doing is misplaced anger, but it's not gonna bring nobody back. We need to and then and then was another thing on Facebook that really kind of pissed me. Well, it kind of it did piss me off that oh, we we tried to do a peaceful protest and it didn't work. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. It's like we um all we did was. We marched a little bit. Then once the motherfucker got quit, we quit. Or he got guilty, we quit. You know what I'm saying? We gotta keep on, keep on, on, keeping, 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 keep it going. We just can't. Like, I'm starting to think. I'm starting to think. Black Lives Matter and all this riot shit don't even for a trend. The trend. Every time the motherfucker get killed, it's, it's, it's it caught on camera. Then we riot, and then we just do it for that trend. Then we going on by our business. Because you gotta look at the damage of the after effect, at the after effects. All that snail shit and all that shit that got damaged and all that shit, all that stuff. Mm hmm The after effects, shit, people got caught on camera. People got caught on camera, people doing the most. We had helicopters last night you know, flying around and all this goofy shit. People get caught on cameras and going to get arrested. And you did all that for what? Because you go to jail. And it's like, damn, man. I said, dude, man, we, we it's like they, they, they talk about Eddie Bo black leaders. Well, we just need to get together as a people and just uh, try to uh, set up a movement so this shit won't happen again. Because we should, we need to say, it's just, after Trayvon Martin died, that old boy died for wearing a hoodie walking home, we should just stop, we should, uh, Stop. We kept on doing it then. We want to have all these several blends and all this stuff, all this this stuff that's going on with us. I'm so I'm tired of it, man. Real talk, man. I'm tired of the riots. I'm tired of all this shit. This is this is violence and violence create more violence. You know that? Like on some real shit. Michael Best was all he was talking about was really defending yourself. And this is not defending yourself. Defending yourself. You know what I'm saying? If a bit, if a police touch you, kill that police. I don't give a fuck what you say. You know what I'm saying? It's a right to defend yourself. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's like the motherfucker whoop on your ass. Period. That shit pisses me off, man. Real talk. That shit pisses me off. But this is the wrong and wrong and wrong equals wrong. You take a positive, always outshines a negative. That's why Martin Luther King broke so many barrels. I mean, he broke so many barrels on doing a peaceful movement because he stayed at it. That shit didn't happen this whole 1969 and shit when he got 68, one of the years he got killed. No, he kept pushing pushing for a change. You got to make your life work. You can't do it just every every so often. You know what I'm saying? This shit is ridiculous, man.